you do have a favorite boat story, it's the origin of the term proof. Now, crying of the puma is 54% alcohol or 108 proof, yeah. But that term comes from a different spirit, navy rum, which historically was a blend of Guyanese and Jamaican rums served to the sailors in the British Royal Navy. That was the deal. When those men enlisted, they were guaranteed not just a paycheck or endless adventure on the high seas, they got eight ounces of high proof delicious rum every single day. They felt nothing. Now, you can imagine you're loading up at port for months at sea. You need at least two things with you. Rum for your sailors and gunpowder for your cannons. Problem was, they were both stored in barrels below decks, oftentimes right next to each other. So if you got into battle, cannonball could tear through your hull, take out a cask of rum, get your gunpowder wet, and then you can't fire back unless your rum is 57.5% alcohol or stronger. <laughs> now, if you were at sea too long, the officers would start to water the rum down to make it last longer, maybe stave off the mutiny a little bit, but that was stealing their crew's pay, and if you took it too far, potentially endangering everyone's lives. So if you had any suspicions about your rum, there was an easy test. Take a little gunpowder, little rum, mix the two together, hold a match to it. If the gunpowder lit, the rum had proven worthy or it was at proof. Origin cool. of the term. Likely also the origin of the movie here too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right.